Hi everybody, hope you had a great Wednesday. I'm Braid Blanks. Thank you for being here. I'm Wayne McCormick. The primary is less than a week away. One of the highly contested races is a seat for Taylor County Justice of the Peace. Republican candidates Lydia Long, Mike McAuliffe, and John Cummins are making their last minute pitches. And KTEX's reporter Farron Salee spoke with each of them today to ask the questions voters want to know. Farron? Well, that's right, Braid. And being Justice of the Peace is not an easy job. But the three candidates we talked to today said they're up for it, and each of them has their own list of reasons why. In fact, it didn't look that good. This is Lydia Long. She says she's about change. She wants to make the JP more accessible. Information is power, and that's what people need. She's also proposing longer hours to accommodate work schedules. We can hold hours in the evenings where if you want to come and fight a ticket, you can come do that after work hours. We can hold a Saturday court, hold it on a school campus. It as a recruiting tool. Mike McAuliffe worked at Abilene High for more than 20 years as a resource officer officer and started the school reserve officer program in 1990. He wants to implement big changes with their partnership with Abilene ISD. What I'd like to do um, is hold truancy courts on campus. There's an awful lot of truancies. The school's losing a lot of money because of that. John Cummins also serves in law enforcement. For the last 12 years with the sheriff's office, I've worked in the civil division. He said the majority of cases in Abilene are civil cases. Some have speculated both candidates involved in law enforcement could have biased rulings because of their bond with officers. Cummins says that's a non-issue. You can't carry impartialities with you when you're actually going to try to assist the public. And early voting continues through Friday. We have a complete list of those times and locations on our website, ktxs.com. And thank you, Farron. Election Day, May 29th. If there is not a clear majority for one candidate uh, in terms of votes, there will be a runoff election between the top two. Be sure to keep it on KTX's Tuesday night for the very latest in election results.